Select the Utilities, Earth Apps, Images, Float, Sea Level, Change, Animation option. The rectangular area of study is defined in terms of longitude and latitude. These coordinates can be determined by moving the cursor within Google Earth and noting the annotation in the lower right corner of the screen. The starting elevation can be either lower or higher than the ending elevation to simulate both flooding and ebbing. In either case, the absolute value of the specified elevation increment will be used to transition from the starting elevation to the ending elevation. The starting and ending dates are used to assign date time tags to the images that Google Earth will be displaying. For example, if the starting elevation is set to 0, the ending elevation is set to 10, and the elevation's increment is set to 1, there will be 10 frames. Any image, such as a PNG, BMP, JPEG, or TIFF, may be used to represent the water surface. Typically, a monochromatic blue surface is used. Other colors, such as red, may be used to avoid perceptual conflicts with Google Earth landscape colors. Photographs of waves can add a sense of direction to the flooding. And maps can be used to display other parameters, such as contaminants from breached water treatment facilities. The image opacity can be adjusted to create the illusion of water transparency. In these examples, the upper image is plotted at 100% opacity, while the lower image is set to 20%, which creates a transparent look. The annotation options determine what, if anything, will appear within the lower left corner of the animation as a visual aid for the viewer. In this example, the sea level is being shown as large red text on a yellow background. Once you've clicked on the Process button, the animation can be launched in Google Earth by clicking on the Time Slider Toggle button. Also note that you can click on the Time Options button to adjust the animation speed.